Hi guys. You know, if a fella's right, the fella, then you're going to want to take your car out or your truck out at night when it's dark. Basically what I'm saying is you won't be able to see where you're going if you haven't got a lightage on the front of the car. So I've got my two high beams on working on the front of my 1975 Ranchero. So I did the right thing and bought a used pair of a buddy of mine that come in a lovely shade of yellow. And I'm going to replace the, the high beam lights that aren't working with the used high, lights, high beam lights that hopefully will be working. So let's see how that goes. Welcome back to Double Zero Garage. Today then, I'm changing these for a pair of these. Which should look a little bit different when they're in. Now to do this, all you need is a screwdriver really. And there's four screws going on the outside of the headlight. We'll just take all of those out. There's always one that is a little bit awkward, sticks a little bit. There's just one in each corner. That's simple to change. So take those four screws out and the bazaar lifts off. Hey guys, I just want to pause the video there for a moment to give me the opportunity to say a huge thank you to all the new subscribers that have recently joined the channel. Hope you're enjoying what you've seen so far. Uh, it's, it's great to have you on board and uh, hopefully you're going to be able to keep uploading in content that's going to keep you entertained. Feel free to share it amongst all your mates and get everyone else subscribing and see if we can get this channel to grow across the UK and the rest of the world. Thanks for now and back to the video. And then you've got your two headlights exposed. Now they're held in by three screws, which I'm not sure if you can see the three screws. There's one there, there's one up there and there's one down here. And they hold the trim ring around the outside in the position. Be a little careful with these trim rings because they can break easily, especially on the brackets that hold the rings in place and therefore hold your headlamp in place. So take your time, is what I'm saying. So these are the brackets. This is your trim ring. And these are the brackets. Put that so you can see it. That just there. Turn that over. You might see it a little bit better. Now they're very easy to snap off or to break off, especially there's a little corrosion on them. These are only tin plate, and then polished. So be careful with those. Is what I'm saying. And then to get the headlight out, you pull the headlight forward. There's a plug at the back of the headlight that hopefully you can see. 
the e-slot plug off there and that's all it is once the camera lens so you've just got your two little pins to go on there now the replacement headlight that's going in is exactly the same this one has got two wires on it which make life a little bit easier so it's easily done just got to plug these in to the plug and once they're plugged in push back into place simply a case of putting the headlight in and then getting the green ring in the right place so it pulls it in and you get your screws in now it can be a little awkward to fit because it will only actually go in in one position which appears to be Screw in. I'm going to tighten it up all the way first because you want to get the other ones in to make sure everything stays in place. Solid and in place, and then put the trim back on. That's how it's going to look on the car. So I'll get this trim panel bolted back in, get the other side done, and then we'll let you see what it looks like when they're on. Okay, guys, here's how it looks finished. That's the two yellow high beam headlights in. Connect the battery up or connect the battery up. Let's see if it's actually working. I'll get you a picture of that if I get them working. Now I know it's hard to see during the day, guys, but well, that's all four lights working. That's low beam and high beam. And obviously, the yellow ones are working perfectly now. Probably better to show you at night time when they're on, but at least they're all working now.